in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, Ventrilo server in Mac OS X uh, in Mac OS X Leopard using the uh, 10.4 version so all you have to do is head over Ventrilo.com go to the download section and click on Mac OS, OS X Power PC 32-bit so all I do is click I agree and I'm going to save this to my desktop. Let me, you can close out of your internet browser and it will unzip or unarchive the file. You could drag the, ar uh, the archive file to the trash. Now all you have to do is open up this INI file and text edit or any text editor. So I'll name this. Hold on. I will name this Matt's server and my phonic name will be Matt server as well uh, you could set an Amazon password so test one two three and password if you want to get if you want a password for everyone to get on there I think voice edit for Mac is three and then voice format I think goes up to like 32 so here we go I'm going to save that I'm going to quit out of that, go to terminal, go to CD desktop, CD vent serve, and then dot slash ventrilo underscore serve. And it opened up, so now I'm going to open my up my ventrilo client. I'm going to create a new server. This server is going to be called Matt's server. Now I'm going to head into my network utility. I'm going to click on EN. EN1 is the wireless network adapter, and EN0 is the uh, just the regular if you're plugged in through Ethernet. So here's my physical IP address. I'm going to type that in, click OK, connect, and there is my server. From here, I could go to server admin, login, test, here, test, one, two, three. And now I'm admin. I could go to my server admin. I could uh, go to user editor and I could add me to it. Uh, there's a lot you could do. So I could add, here we go, I could add me and I could uh, type in a password. I could make I can make me a rank owner uh, profiles I made a I already made a profile before called the ultimate so now I just click add close and now next time I log in I go here I type in my password click connect and now it automatically adds me to the admin I can make a, a separate channel so I'll call this live .bevich.org and disable sound effects you can do it like that and now it is called I have my own separate channel I can make this you could do everything so I'll show you how to port forward it now so I think the default port is port 80 no the default port is 3784 I haven't went in my control panel for, for a while so let's uh, one that one point this is usually the default IP address for your router if it's if that doesn't work for you there you, then you'll have to Google your router and Google default IP address and, and uh, you're gonna have to find the password and the name for it so all you're gonna do is go to application and gaming I'm gonna call this vent external point external point point uh port i mean enable save settings now i'm gonna go continue and now i'm gonna go uh what is my ip what is my ip.com and my ip address is this this is my external ip address now i could disconnect from here 
put in that, click OK, click Connect, and that works now. So anybody can connect to it, even though I'm not going to have it on, I'll probably delete it. So yeah, that is how to easily set up a Ventrilo server. You could act, you could even rename it to Vent and rename this to Vent and you could drag it into your home directory. So then so it's a quick so instead of going here we go. Instead of going CD desktop, you just write CD vent dot slash vent. And now it's opened up. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please check out my blog at matt.bevish.org. Uh, sorry if I went a little bit too fast. I just had to pause it. Uh, yeah. Sorry.